everyone. In this very quick video I'm just going to answer a question that I get asked um, all the time and that question is how do I do my yarn colour choices and how do I get things to match up to complement each other for in my projects. So obviously some of this you will all do yourself and you will know about but because I get the question a lot I thought I'd do a quick video and also it features a couple of products that I really want to tell you about that you might not be aware of but I also want to pop in a little disclaimer at this point that this isn't a paid advertisement, it isn't anything that I earn commission on or anything like that. The product that I'm going to feature is something that I bought with my own money and just it's a small business and you know that I really like to promote small independent businesses so yeah, it's something that I purchased with my own money and was worth every penny. So, obviously when it comes to choosing your yarn colours and things, nothing is ever going to beat being able to go to a yarn shop and have a squash and a squeeze and put all your colours next to each other. And obviously you can see them in the flesh and think, yep, yeah, they look really nice together and then you just go and buy them. Obviously that is the best way to match up your colours and things. But not everyone is fortunate enough to have a yarn shop nearby or be able to easily get to a yarn shop. So if you're having to shop online, like I would imagine most people are doing at the moment, then there are three other ways that I, or three other things that I do to try and get some nice colours to go together. And the first one is a really obvious one and I would imagine almost all brands now actually have these shade cards. So this is my Shapies Colour Crafter shade card. I'm just going to hold it right up so that you can see. And this I purchased um, quite a while ago actually just when I started to use the Colour Crafter and obviously I really like their, their yarn and so I purchased a shade card. So obviously shade cards if you haven't seen them before are really useful tools because you can see the actual colours in the flesh so again, really good idea. But the only downside with a shade card is you can't obviously actually put the colours next to each other. You can't think, right, I want this grey, this blue, this pink. You can't actually obviously line them up right next to each other. But they are great because you know what the yarn feels like and you can see right in front of you the actual colours. Because on the computer, obviously, they are always slightly different when you actually see them in the flesh. So yeah, shade cards are a brilliant um, way to choose out your yarn colours. The second way um, probably makes me sound a little bit crazy and it is time consuming but it is another thing that I have done many a time to, to do it. Actually, I, this is the technique technique that I used when I did my Shapey Stone Washed Elements Pillow. So if you've seen the picture of that on my Instagram and I've featured it on a few videos as well, you can see that it's all different shades of greys and creams and blues and things and the colours in that, in my opinion, fade perfectly and fade beautifully and this is the technique that I used to do that and that was to get up the, the website, so I, I purchased mine from Snufflebee and I got up her website and then I did a little screen grab of the Shapies um, stone washed in the shades that I, I was I liked. So I literally just did a screen grab of the, the picture where the yarn was showing and then obviously saved that to my computer, went to another shade, did the screen grab, saved that and so on and so forth. I think there was five or six shades in the end. And then I just opened all of those screen grabs all together and just to see what they look like in that gradient. So that is another way, like I say, it's time consuming, it might make me sound a little bit crazy, but that is another thing that I have done. So just screen grabbed the, the colour of the yarn on the screen and then opened all the files into the, and had a look at them all because you can then obviously put them right next to each other because when you're using the computer, obviously you have to click, have a look and think, yep, yeah, like that click the next colour, go back, have a look. So it was just a nice way of having them all open at the same time and being able to literally put them right next to each other. So that's another way. But my favourite thing that I have, these are the things that I have purchased recently 
from, it's a, com a small company called the Polka Dot Giraffe and she does yarn peg sets. Now there are, I'll, obviously I'll leave a link to her Instagram and to her Etsy store down below and you can go and have a look and she does all kinds of different yarns so Stylecraft, Shapies, Paintbox, she does all different types and all of their different um, yarns as well so obviously the Shapies one you've got the, the Colour Crafter, the Stone Washed and all the different ones so this one is my set of paint box simply DK because for my DK yarn it's always either Shapies Colour Crafter or paint box DK. So obviously I'll just open it up for you and I'm going to try and hold it up without them all falling out everywhere. So these are how many shades? So these are the 49 shades of the paint box DK that are currently available. And so every single colour is wrapped around a little wooden peg, I'm hoping that you can see. And then the name and the yarn number is on the peg as well. And obviously they're not cheap to buy, but they are completely and utterly worth it because you can literally have all the pegs out and whether you're doing a gradient of the same colours or rainbows, pastel rainbows, bright rainbows, anything like that you can literally get the ones that you think look nice with each other, line them all up, so I'm just doing a quick gradient one here, and you can physically put them next to each other, line them up and see what they would look like when all worked up. So yarn pegs, I think, they're not the cheap alternative, but they are, in my opinion, probably the best way for you to be able to see all of the colours right next to each other in the flesh and like I say it's different to a shade card because you can move these around and line them up in any order that you want to and so I'm really, I've only, you, I've only had these for a few days but already I have mapped out so many different colourways for future projects and it's been a real, a real eye opener for me because quite often I have actually struggled to have colours that I like and then I'll order them and they'll come and I think oh, they don't really go together quite as nicely as I expected. So to have these physically here to mess about with, change them around and things, it's actually really good fun as well. <laughs> so those are my paint box ones but I will just quickly show you the Shapies Colour Crafter as well because there are 93 of these so they're in a bigger box obviously so they come in a nice box with nice tissue and everything so these are obviously double depth and you can see I mean I, I could quite happily have these up on my wall just looking really pretty because I think they look amazing so yeah so these are all the shapies colour crafter so again it also opens your eyes to play around with colours that you might see online and think oh it's a little bit garish or a little bit bright or um, you might think it just doesn't look like a particularly nice colour but then when you actually see them in the flesh obviously it, it gives you a much better idea of how things are going to look and then there's no surprises when you get your delivery through the door. So I will leave the information for the Polka Dot Giraffe um, for Emily's shop down below and like I say this isn't a paid advertisement, she hasn't asked me to do this, it's just something that I ordered and I thought people could benefit from knowing about them and hopefully it will be something that will be useful to you all as well. But if you have any other tips or tricks for picking out yarn colours and things then do leave them in the comments section for other people to see as well and I will see you for a regular tutorial very soon but I do hope that these little hints and tips videos are useful for all of you but I will see you very very soon. Bye!